Hey y'all, my name is Cameron Fontana. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to trust God. And so I've been really waiting to record this video because it's like, for I know for me and probably some other like beginning Christians and people that are just getting the walk with God, like it's so easy to pray and, you know, go to church and wish for these things that, you know, God is calling and asking you to do. But at the same time, it's like, are you trusting for him to do it? So for the first thing that I want to talk about is to just stop worrying overall. Now, I do have scriptures that I'm going to like base all these things off of. But I just think um, you just have to stop worrying because I remember seeing this a long time ago. But they were saying that there's no reason to pray to worry. And there's no reason to worry since there's prayer. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, anything that you're wanting or anything that you're striving to get aiming for, it's like you have to pray for it. But once you pray for it, once you've already asked God, and once you know that he's going to like bestow that upon your life, you have to let him do it. You know what I mean? And that's one thing that I feel like I, as a Christian too, have been struggling with this summer. It's just really just giving it to God and stop worrying. You know, like I feel like sometimes we just want to rush his work and rush what he's going to do, rush his blessings. But it's like, we have to calm down. You know what I mean? Slow down. Like miracles don't happen overnight. Um, success, like they always say, success doesn't happen overnight. You have to be able to let God work on your life. I felt like constantly we're always trying to rush God, do this, do that, do this. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we have to start slowing down. Just like breathe, collect yourself, regather yourself, calm down, pray, and give it to God. But I just think the biggest thing that, you know, a lot of us get affected by is worrying, and that's included as me as well. And so for my first scripture that I did want to discuss about this, I'm going to go back and forth with like my thoughts and then scripture. And so I'm looking at my MacBook right now. And so for the first scripture that I want to talk about was Proverbs verse three through five and six. And it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Now, I think it was earlier this summer I finished Proverbs. Now, anybody who is struggling with faith and trusting in the Lord, read Proverbs. When I tell y'all Proverbs does wonders, like you see how that verse was good and it was powerful. Proverbs has so many good verses for encouragement to increase your faith, like especially this one where it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and not lean your own understanding. Like when I first read that way back early in the summer within Proverbs, I finished, I finished Proverbs now, but when I first read that verse, like, I don't know, I feel like it really did something to me because when it says not to lean in your own understanding, because once again, like I said before, we always think just because like something isn't happening when we want it or something's not happening right at that moment that God isn't working, God isn't there, he's not hearing us, but he is, you know, and I'll put this in my life, you know, with YouTube, you know, there's so many times where I posted a short and it doesn't do good. And I just be like, well, what, you know, I can't be like all the other YouTubers. Why well, can't do this? Why well, can't do that? But it's like, just slow down. You know what I mean? Okay. One short messed up. Let's try something else. Try a different title. Try a different hashtag. There's so many times I, um, it was my book video, for example. I literally posted that. And I think it was the first two or three days it was stuck at, I had to give it like seven or 10 views and I was so upset because I was just like, I thought this video was good. I thought I did good SEO. Ah, da, da, ah, da, da. Next thing you know, it had 227 views. And for a smart creator like me, that's good. But once again, that took a week or two. You know what I mean? A full week, not one or two days, not two days, not 24 hours. It took one or two weeks to get those views. And that's the patience that we have to have. You know what I mean? Not to lean on your understanding. Um, even to put it, you know, we're about to go back to school, college. Um, I definitely know with me, I, I'm not really good at taking tests. And so if I get a bad grade on the quiz, a test, well, I'll be like, oh, this major isn't for me. Oh, I'm going to fail and all that stuff. But it's like, that's the stuff that we got to fix on. You know, that's the worrying. At the end of the day, it's like, yes, I'm praying on that stuff. But it's like, am I giving God his time to work with me? You know what I mean? Am I trying to do different study habits? Am I trying to do this? Am I trying to do that? Not only am I trying to put trust in God, but am I trusting myself? You know what I mean? These are the questions that we have to ask. But yeah, if you don't trust in yourself, it's just like, you won't be able to do the many things that God is asking or trying to give to you or even bestowing in your life. You know what I mean? Because I always be thinking that like, right as you give up or right as you rush God, that could be the very moment that he is trying to bless you. He is trying to maybe give that job offer, maybe give you that um, A on that exam, or maybe give you that 
that YouTube video that blows you up. It's like, right? I feel like it's always like a test. You know what I mean? God is always waiting. He's always watching. He's always testing you. But right when you give up, it's like, boom, that could have right. That could have been the perfect time. He's trying to bless you. But you know what I mean? You gave up. And like I said, too, it's like, if you don't trust in God, how are you going to be a follower of him? You know what I mean? How are you going to ask for all these things in prayer if you're literally not trusting him? You know what I mean? Just as your friend, right? You tell your friend things, you tell your friend secrets, but at the end of the day, they go and tell other people, you're going to trust them? No. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing with God. It's like, there's no reason for, you know, in the Bible, you know, in the word is telling you to do this, this, and that. And you're just going to go right back to doing those bad habits of, you know, being jealous, being envy, comparing yourself to others, like just so many things. We have just got to stop worrying and stop leaning on our own understanding. And this was another thing that I kind of just hinted on in the last point, but we have to be active in prayer because it's like, okay, it's one thing, say if you're praying and then you believe, you know, with the word and in the Bible that you're trusting God, but I would be active in it, you know what I mean? Because that's one thing about me. I'll ask God to, you know, to take over, you know, will just allow me to stop worrying and go overthinking. And then I go right back doing the same thing. Or say if I know when I get on Instagram, I start comparing myself to others. I'm going right back on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like I like I said, I could bring this up with YouTube again. Like I know my subscriber count is low and there's other people who I know at school, they might have a little bit more followers than I do. I'll go right back to their page and be like, okay, this video blow up. Why did I not blow up? Or I did the same hashtag. Why did it? What did I just say? We got to slow down. But also while I'm praying, okay, Lord, let me do good on YouTube. Let me do this and that. I'm going right back to the old habits. You know what I mean? It's just, it's even the same thing. Like say, if you're struggling with lust, it's like you're sitting there praying for lust, saying, God, you know, don't let me lust. Take this away from me. You're repenting your sins and stuff. And then you go back and do the exact same lustful actions that you just prayed about. Or say if you're having the same lustful conversations or being around the same lustful people in the same lustful environment. You know what I mean? It's just like, what's the point of praying about it? asking God and then God might be doing his part but then it's like you're not doing your part so it's like us as Christians we need to start being more active in our prayer and this is like I said a lot of the stuff I'd be telling y'all it'd be kind of like I'm talking to myself in a way because I literally have did that so many times this summer I'll be like Lord you know help me with you know stress and let me start worrying about this this and that and then I go right back to the same bad habits that I know the books you know the self-help books tell me not to do the Bible tells me not to do, Proverbs tells me not to do, and then I'm still doing it. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's no reason of praying, and then you're just not going to be active in it. You know what I mean? God's not going to hold your hand when it comes to, you know, your walk and stuff. You have to be active in it. Yeah, he's going to assist you, assist you spiritually, mentally, you know, spiritually and mentally, but physically, it's like you have to do your own side of the bargain as well. So we as Christians need to start being more active in our prayer. And then also for my third point, I did want to say is that um, when we are stressing or, you know, having worries or even just comparing ourselves, I do think we have to start reading our Bible more. And while we're being our Bible is to just be patient as well, because once again, success doesn't happen overnight. Your walk isn't going to happen overnight. You know, and I feel like a lot of people, um, well, I just feel like in general, a lot of people come and go to, they come and then they might go from Christ, but it's like all the stuff takes time, you know, because I might ask some people, you know, well, why do you not believe in Christ this? You might believe in Christ there, but it's like a lot of stuff they be saying, I feel like they thought it was going to be like an immediate reaction or immediate response, but it's like, that is not how God works. God is going to let you wait for the right moment. Just like I was saying earlier, it might be that one time you've been doing good. And then you get to that one time you give up, that could have been the right, that could have been the exact moment God was going to give you what you wanted, but you're being impatient. You're not waiting. You're trying to rush in life. Then the stuff is going to happen overnight. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of people, when they come into like Christianity or just even the Bible in general, they literally think the stuff is going to happen tomorrow. They act, oh God, let me get this job. They expect the job to be there tomorrow. Like, no, God is going to make you wait. And then majority of the times while he's making you wait, it could be for something even greater. But once again, you're not getting to that thing that's greater because you're rushing him. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I just feel like there's there's plenty of more scriptures that you know I'm about to discuss, but there's even plenty of more in the Bible. But it's like, are you reading those? Are you reading Proverbs? Are you reading um, that scripture? Are you reading that chapter? Are you understanding that story in the Bible? Are you trying to connect? You know, there's multiple characters in the Bible. Are you trying to connect to that character? Are you trying to deep dive that character? Or are we just rush it? You know what I mean? So I just feel like we have to start being more in our word and being more active in our word as well. And also just being patient in general. 
And so for my next scripture that I want to discuss, this is one of my favorites. I literally put this in my notes on my iPhone line. I would think back way freshman year in high school. But it's Second Timothy verse one through seven says, For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. And to really break this thing, to really break the scripture down, like it's kind of the whole narrative of the video. It says, he gives us a spirit, not a fear. So we have no need to worry. We have no need to be fearful. You know what I mean? God would never give you something. Yes, there are times where he could give you more than you can handle. But it's like at the end of the day, it's like he knows the goal. You might not see it now. You might not ever see it. But God knows the end goal. You know what I mean? Like I say in all of my videos, if y'all be watching, and it said get the light at the end of the tunnel. But it's like you still have to go through the tunnel. Some people just think, it's the, the the tunnel ain't lit up. You know what I mean? The tunnel's dark. You need to get through the tunnel to the light, but it might be a journey through that tunnel. You know what I mean? Like we still got to go through the tunnel. Some people just want to stay at the entrance and never move, never grow, never go through their path. Like, no, there's going to be adversity. There's going to be stuff that doesn't go your way. There's going to be mishaps, issues, but it's like, are we going to be on this side of the tunnel or are we going to get here? You know what I mean? We got to get through the tunnel. And so, but I've just always loved this scripture because I even, I even would always think about this when I was running track and stuff. And then to go into the other parts where it says, but of power, love, and self-control. And once again, if you're struggling with lust or I know somebody like me, I struggle with comparison. You know, they always say comparison is the thief of joy. You know what I mean? We're always trying to compare ourselves to the next person. We're never going to appreciate what we're going through our journey our growth, trying to connect it to the next woman or the next man. But once again, it says in the verse, self-control, like he gives us the power of self-control. We know that we don't need to be watching this or we don't need to be scrolling on that app or we don't need to be comparing ourselves to that person. It says it in the word. It says it in the scripture. So knowing that it says it in there means that we can do it. But once again, it says, you know, self-control by we be active in that self-control. Like once again, you could just read this verse and go on with your day, but it's like, are you trying to implement this? Are you writing this verse down? Are you being active in it? You know what I mean? Like there's, there's literally passive reading and then there's active reading. You know how there's passive studying, there's active studying. Passive recall, active recall. Like there's two different. You could just read the word, go on about your day. You could go in and out of church while we're being active in our walk, active in our spirit, active, actively being fruitful. It's like you have to be active in all these things. Some people, like I said, they just think stuff is gonna happen overnight. Like, no, you gotta work. And it's the same thing when it, you know, comes to the spirit, it comes with God as well. But yeah, Second Timothy, I just really have loved that verse. Um, I haven't read Timothy yet, but I have read Proverbs. And like I said, Proverbs is really good. So read that book if you guys are um, looking for, you know, more wisdom or just how to trust God. And, and that book will definitely help increase your faith. And so um, what really made me spark this video and kind of like pushed me to make it was Megan Ashley. And so I'll put the pop up on her screen, but I have watched her podcast. And there, I had watched her podcast and then I had watched um, this other girl. I'll put both of them up on the screen, but I'll put the screenshot of the comment that I saw in the comment section. And this comment really like, it really did something to me. And I had wrote this down in my notes when I was making this video, but we also have to stand right in being patient that sometimes being lazy and being still isn't wrong. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it's not bad to be lazy. You know what I mean? Like sometimes God is going to ask you to rest. He's going to ask you to chill out, calm down and let him work. You know what I mean? Because there is just so many times that like, like I said, I literally did that this summer. I had posted my video, batch content. I made like seven TikToks so they could go out at different times. And I literally was like, one day I was like, I'm going to take a rest day. I'm going to chill. You know, I've been grinding this week. I didn't take no rest day. You know what I mean? Just because I wanted to be hard headed. I want to keep working, but it's like, I've already did what I had to do. I'm staying consistent. I'm posting my content. Like I'm staying consistent. You know, I'm doing what I got to do, but it's like, I'm just waiting for the videos to blow up. I'm like, I want this TikTok to go viral. I want this TikTok to blow up, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I'm not relaxing. I'm not chilling. Like sometimes God is not going to act, like I said, once you want it. So you have got to learn to be still. And like I said, it's not really being lazy, but it's just being restful. You know what I mean? Like I noticed, like that's one thing I really noticed from this summer. And I definitely was like, I have to work on this going to the next semester is I'm a workaholic. Like I be wanting to work seven days of the week. And it's like, you cannot do that, y'all. That is unhealthy. Sometimes you need to chill. Sometimes do that self-care, take that shower, 
go to bed, watch your Netflix, watch your YouTube, maybe eat something unhealthy, like just chill, like, you know what I mean? Because then I'll even be thinking that too, like, I'll think, um, say if one week I just didn't read my Bible, God doesn't love me, God this, oh, I'm about to go to hell, like sometimes, like, like I said, it's just, sometimes just stop thinking, just stop, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes just stop thinking. Just calm down. You know what I mean? You pray, you go to church, you're doing your service. Calm down. Like, just, just slow down. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We try to have our hands on everything. Please, just stop. Like there. Just stop. Just hold on. Give, like I said, give God some room to work. You trying to do everything all seven days a week. We got, we will give God a chance. You know what I mean? Like, we have to got to learn that. And so, but yeah. That's just something, like I said, I have to go into this school year with because even my friends, she had told me that uh, last semester, like I was doing so much work, trying to study every single day. And she was literally telling me like, Cameron, that is stressing you out. Like that is unhealthy. You cannot be doing that. And I'm like, yes, I can't be doing that. So that just felt like that was something that I really wanted to like explain and get off my chest because I'm one of those people like literally if all seven days of the week, if I'm not watching a motivational video, I'd be thinking, well, I'm lazy. Or if I'm not watching a how to grow on YouTube or how to grow on TikTok, then I'm not working hard enough. Or if I'm not reading my Bible every minute, or if I'm not uh, speaking in the most holy conversations or being holy every single day, then God doesn't you know, love me. Or like God is ashamed of me. Like, slow down and just, let's just be quiet. Let's just be quiet for five minutes. You know what I mean? Calm down. And so, but yeah, that was just one thing. And I just really hope someone else is maybe going through that and kind of understands where I'm coming from. Cause like, I know I'm a workaholic. I'll work out. I'll, I'll, I'll literally work from when I wake up to when I go to sleep just because I'm not feeling like I'm doing enough. But it's like, we have to trust God that once again, we're doing our part, but he's going to handle the other part. We don't have to do everything our own. God doesn't want us to do that. He doesn't want us to be in the journey alone. You know what I mean? He wants us to be with him. And so we have to do that. And so, yeah, just learn that sometimes it's okay to be lazy. It's okay to chill. You know what I mean? Just like they say, sometimes it's okay not to want to be happy and stuff, but you still have to keep going. You know what I mean? Like every day doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay to have one bad day. It's okay if something didn't go your way or you didn't do something on your agenda. Like it's okay. Learn to be still, learn to relax and learn to chill. And just kind of like I was saying, coming from the last point is like when it comes into trusting and, and doing things like of God, we have to learn to give it to him, but kind of give it to him fully. Because like I said, it's like you can't be praying for it, but still in your mind, you still have doubt. And like I said, you're still doing the bad habits because it's like you haven't fully given it to God. You know what I mean? Because that is kind of one thing that I have been practicing this past week or the past couple of days is just like giving it to God and kind of even not even thinking about it. Like I've already prayed about it. That's it. You know what I mean? Let it go. Stop continue to talk about it. Stop continue to post about it. Bring it up. If you're like me, and sometimes I talk to myself, so I'll be kind of talking about it with me, still trying to go over the situation or go over, you know, how this video went or why I'm not growing this way. Like, just let the whole topic go. You know what I mean? Um, and then from that, you understand that I feel like spiritually you're at peace, but physically you're at peace as well. Because like I said, these past days when I haven't been, you know, worrying about YouTube and all this stuff, I was just like, hey, I'm just going to post it. I even had to remind myself literally because I was getting stressed out last week. Like, Cameron, why did you start doing this? You know what I mean? Now I'm even questioning myself. Like, I'm like, Cameron, why you start doing this? You know, I didn't do this for the money and stuff. Yeah, getting paid and stuff would be great. But it's like, I like doing YouTube. I like making videos. I know, you know, the views and stuff might be low. Their attention might be low. But I just know there's one person out there that's, you know, understanding the whole video, watch through the whole thing, really getting the knowledge and stuff. And yeah, and so that kind of, like I said, pushed me to make this video even more because you just kind of have to give it to God. Like, I can't control... I can't control who clicks on the video, who watches the video, who dislikes the video, who unsubscribes, subscribes. I can't control that. But once again, you have to do your part, right? I'm going to let God, if you want to let it blow up, let it blow up. If God want to let this video pop on, somebody suggest it, and then they follow me for the rest of my journey, they do. But at the end of the day, I have to do my job as the creator to post a video. It's the same thing as school. You can't control what that teacher puts on that test, but you can just study and prep for it. You know what I mean? You can't do that even with life. 
You can wake up early, eat healthy, do what you got to do. But if God throws something at you, he threw it at you. Now you got to react. You know what I mean? Like people always want to just worry about the problem, but it's like, what's the solution? You know what I mean? Like there's good, like I said, there's always going to be a hard time. There's always going to be a hard this, a hard day, a bad day, but you kind of just have to keep going. And so, but main, you know, main thing I wanted to say about that is just like, you'll learn when you start giving things to God or you stop worrying that you will be at peace. Your mind will be more clearer. You don't feel like you're worrying or rushing about it. Like it's little things like that, that that's the reason why you have to give it to God and you have to trust in him. You have to have faith. And yes, faith, you know, I feel like for somebody like me knowing that it's so easy to overthink, faith is so hard. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's so hard for me to not worry about some for seven days in a week, but that's something I got to work on. Because like I said, I can't be mad if I'm trying to control everything, do every single thing, every single second, every single minute, every single hour. And then I'd be mad that God didn't do his part, but it's like, I'm literally not giving him time to work if I'm literally doing everything, right? And you know, I, you know, I like my little comparisons, right? Take this all the way back in high school and middle school when we did those group projects. Aren't you supposed to split the work up amongst people in the group? One person is supposed to do all the work. And then that one person, what happens? They get stressed out. They get mad. Now they're lashing out the other three people in the group. But at the end of the day, no one told you to do all the work when it's a group project. And that's the same thing with this walk. Like it's not a solo walk. God wants you to pray. He wants you to read the Bible. He wants you to seek him. That's literally the whole premise of Christianity. You know what I mean? And so like, just stop rushing, calm down and breathe. Like I said, just stop. It's okay. It's, a, it's okay if you don't work on that business one day. It's okay. It's not going to fall. You know what I mean? Just because you may, say you even took a break off of YouTube. It's okay. Let's get back. That doesn't mean you're the worst YouTuber. You're inconsistent. Or like I said, if you, you failed one quiz, one test, one exam, you're not a failure. Like it's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to mess up. Like it's okay, bro just chill. Okay, so hopefully you guys are enjoying, you know, the video so far, or if you've watched up to this point, I hope you've been enjoying the video, but I want to go over our last uh, scripture, because I want to talk about three in this video, and it's Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, it says, put your trust in God, the true source of happiness, and the answer to every question, and logging in your heart. And so I feel like this kind of goes right with Second Timothy because it's literally saying for you to trust God and that he's given us happiness. He's giving us the answers. You know what I mean? But once again, these answers are in him. The answers are in the Bible. The answers are in the word. They might be in the scripture. They might be in that podcast. But it's like we have to take the time to watch those things. And like I say, even when we watch those podcasts, even when we go to church, are we acting on it? And so, but yeah, I definitely got to read um, Second Timothy and Jeremiah, but I just really chose that verse. Um, I kind of had looked these up on Google, and there was, a, like I said, there was a lot of verses, but I kind of just picked these three. They just really kind of stuck out to me because, like he said, it says the true source of happiness. Like, like I said, God doesn't want you to be depressed, to just be sad, to give up. Like, no, He wants you to seek Him. He wants you to pray. He literally wants you to seek Him, pray to Him. He wants to be the main. You know, he, he literally wants to be the he wants to be the main source of your journey in your story, you know, but it's like once again, are you trusting in yourself to do that? Are you trusting in yourself to, you know, be Christian for God? Are you trusting yourself to be better? You know what I mean? Like I say, you might slip up, you might sin, but still, are you still trusting that God is at the forefront of everything? Are you believing in him? Are you trying to grow within him? You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. It's like, we have to read scripture. We have to read word. We've got to practice stuff here and there. Like, we just got to really be for him. And then the last part says, you know, he's the answer to all questions. So once again, when you're praying and stuff, God hears your questions. If you're questioning something, he's hearing you. If you're asking for this, he is going to give it to you. Yes or no, he might not give it to you, but still, it's like you just got to just give him patience or just, you know, like I said, just really understand him. And so that was kind of really all the scriptures that I wanted to discuss for today's video. I hope that you guys um, understood the points that I was talking about. I really try to make these kind of, I want to start making them in bite size. It's like 10 or 15 minutes. So I hope that this video wasn't too long, but I just really hope you guys are understanding this message and then that you've understand my other Christian videos. If you're a new subscriber or you're a new person watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, well, subscribe, but also just go in and check out some of my other, you know, Bible sit down, see if you like them. Cause I always like to do a Bible sit down here and there. I understand that, you know, everybody's not Christian and that's okay. Everybody doesn't have to believe in Christ. So I'm trying to 
force you know stuff down people's throats but it just in case if any people that do subscribe to me you know are christians i love to you know just make a video here and there i definitely won't make videos like this like my main source just because like i do like to live my daily life i know that's probably not my main audience everybody doesn't want to see that but like i said i always love to give the word out there just remind people daily that like i said it's okay to go through stuff um it's okay to you know, fall short, it's okay to maybe lose faith here, but you just can't give up and you have to keep going. And so just want to go over my scriptures once again, Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways, submit to him and he'll make your path straight. Number two, Second Timothy, verse 1 through 7, for God gives us a spirit, not of fear, but of power, love and self-control. Number three, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, put your trust in God, the source of the source of happiness and the answer to every question lying in your heart. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I highly recommend reading Proverbs. It is such a great um, verse. And just in case if anybody was wondering like how to read the Bible, because I know the Bible can be difficult. I read an easy to read version on the Bible app. The Bible app is free. So Hey, there's no excuse. You know what I mean? It might be okay if you don't have a Bible at the house because you might not have money to go buy the Bible, but that, that phone or or that computer that you watch it on, I mean, if you if you watch it on a computer, it means you go to that, that bar, that search bar, type in the Bible app. It's they, they, they have a website. The website is free. You go to that app store on that iPhone, Samsung. I'm going to need you to download that Bible app because it's free as well. So yeah, I don't want to hold up too long. I don't have the video too long, but I just really hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below any like maybe verses you want me to discuss or I guess chapters or people to discuss. Because like I said, there's a lot I need to learn about the Bible as well. I really don't know many stories. I know the, I know the stories are like really deep rooted in the Bible. I need to start reading those. But yeah, read Proverbs. It's okay. Sometimes we just need to slow down and give it to God. And yeah. Get to the like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see you on the next video.